The topic of this video is determining the rate of interest or the time required to double or triple a lump sum of money. Let's look at a problem. What rate of interest, compounded annually, is required to double an investment in 23 years? Before we begin solving this problem, there's something important I'd like to share with you. It would be this fact right here. It takes the same amount of time to double $100 as it takes to double a million dollars. Investing is the act of multiplying. So let's say you have two people, they both have a different amount of money, but they're going to put their money in the same account, the same bank. We'll keep the money separate so we know who's whose, but we're still putting it in the same account. Well, the effect of investing is multiplying. So if the effect of one particular account is that it gets multiplied by two, and the effect of the other account is it's being multiplied by two because they're the same account, then naturally it takes the same of time to double $100 as it takes to double a million dollars. So with this in mind, we now turn our attention to this problem. You don't need to know how much money is being invested when a question asks you how long it will take to double. You can just make up a number because it takes the same amount of time to double $100 as it takes to double a million dollars. All right, so let's solve this problem. We notice that this is being compounded annually, not continuously. So we will not use the PERT formula we will use F equals P parenthesis one plus R over N close parenthesis to the N T power. All right, let's write down everything we know. What rate of interest? So that means we're trying to find R. R is our variable this time. Compounded annually. That tells me N equals one. To double an investment. That means whatever P is equal to, F will be two times that value. So for example, if P is 100, then F will be 200. But if P is 1 million, then F will be 2 million. It doesn't matter what two numbers you use here because you're just gonna divide them anyway and you're gonna get the number two because doubling means multiplying by two. Finishing the sentence, to double an investment in 23 years. So T is 23. Okay, great, so let's go ahead and put this in our problem. Uh, in the interest of being able to fit this on the board, I'm going to choose some smaller numbers here. I'm going to keep it with P is 100 and F is 200. All right, here we go. So we get 200 equals 100, parenthesis, 1 plus R, which is, we're going to leave as R because it's our unknown, N, which is 1, uh, all raised to the NT power, N times T, 1 times 23. 1 times 23. This is not a decimal, it's a multiplication symbol. Now we simplify. Anything divided by 1 is itself, so inside we have 1 plus r. Anything times 1 is itself, so my exponent is 23. Okay, now I need to find a way to get the r by itself. This is going to require a scale that we have not yet seen in another video. So let's start with a question. Let's say you have r squared and you want it to just be r. What would you do? I hope your answer is square root. Square root turns r squared into just r. What if you had r cubed? How would you get that to be just an r? Well, you do the opposite of cube, which is cube root. So taking the cube root of r cubed gives you just r. You undo r to the fourth with a fourth root, and you do undo r to the fifth with a fifth root. So we are going to undo one plus r to the 23rd with a 23rd root. But before we can do that, we have to get rid of this 100, just like we did in previous videos. So divide by 100 on both sides, and now we're going to have two equals one plus r to the 23rd power. Notice the value of two here. This is because we are asked to double. Double means multiplied by two. If this problem had said triple instead, then we would have picked a number for P like 100. F would have been 300, because it's multiplying by three. And then we would have a three sitting right here. All right, we're now ready for our 23rd root. We're gonna take the 23rd root of both sides. So this doesn't happen very often. Let's get a special color. Let's get brown. I don't use brown very often. 
So 23rd root of both sides. Special moment. Okay, so on the right hand side, the 23rd power and the 23rd root cancel each other out and they leave us with our radicand one plus r. And on the left side, I need to figure out how do I put the 23rd root of two in my calculator? All right, well, I'm using the TI-30XS multi-view and on the left column, the fifth button down, which is a little upward pointing arrowhead called a caret, above that in green, it says X and then there's a little radical symbol. So the way we use our calculator to do a 23rd root is we tell the calculator what kind of root we want first. So I put in 23, then we shift and we get our X root button and that turns that 23 into the index. In other words, it's raised up and it's small. And now we can put in our two. And when we hit enter, we're gonna get a decimal value. 1.030590. Five, nine, etc., etc., etc. Now remember, this is the left side of our equation. The right side still says one plus r. What we need to do now is subtract one on both sides because we don't want to know what one plus r equals. We just want to know what r equals. So minus one, minus one. Then on the left, we're left with only the decimal part. Zero point zero three zero five nine dot 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 equals r. So this is our exact answer for r as a decimal. 0 0.03059 dot dot dot. But if you've been following the instructions of these videos very carefully, you know that whenever an interest rate is talked about in a real in a real world sense, it always uses the percent symbol. So if we wanted to be able to convert this into a percent, we have to be able to multiply by 100. So when we multiply this by 100, this tells me that R is equal to 3.059 dot 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 percent. Now we use the instructions uh, for the problem that tell us how to round. And let's say in this particular instance, we're told we want two decimal places. Well, then we can say R is approximately equal to 3.06%. And that would be the answer to this question. So if you've got some money and you've got 23 years to wait and you're looking to double your money, all you need to do is go find a bank that's, a, that's willing to give you an investment opportunity of 3.06% annually.